the cover of the first book that featured an African-American, clearly shown. He may not look like a comic book hero. And I love superheroes and the battle for truth and justice and, and equality and fairness. And I think that's what drew me. But Professor William Foster is a hero for comic books. All comic characters are stereotypes. It's where we start. He's a nationally known comic book historian from Connecticut. Welcome this morning. Here to talk to people in Denver. Stop reading them funny books is what they said. About the changing image of African Americans in comics. You can trace almost by decade how our progress in this country and how our how treatment in this country had changed over time. Foster believes these are not just funny books. Comics, he believes, no one knows, are insights into the psychology of the times. Where black people were being portrayed as, you know, superstitious people with real big lips and fright wig hair and holding the shield and the spear. And From the caricatures of the 30s and 40s. I never get mad at history. It was what it was. To the empowerment of the 60s and 70s. This is John Stewart, the Black Green Lantern. Foster says comic books play a big part in history because of their role in shaping the minds of young readers over time. Because that's what we are. That's how we learn. We learn by stories. What makes him a comic book hero? Black Lightning is 1977. Are his efforts Saber, to preserve yeah, history. He's contributing to an exhibit at the Blair Caldwell Library in Denver and towards efforts around the country. This is Willie Mays. Trying to help the next generation remember how things used to be. If they found you reading, they would kill you. What? Oh, yeah. Much of the pioneering comic books portraying black characters are disappearing. Many of them destroyed or never distributed. Stacks of those books came back to the publisher. No one will put them on the shelves. Now Foster has launched a movement to save these underground comics from extinction. But the V of people behind me has gotten much larger. So I'm not the only one anymore. Not the only one trying to be a hero. Nah, not just funny books. Although you still can find some funny books. A hero for the truth. Whatever story someone tells becomes the truth. Or there were no black comics. That becomes the truth. Okay, uh, well, you know, nobody, nobody in the black community was doing it. Why should we do it? That's not the truth. With photojournalist Byron Reed. Nelson Garcia, 9 News.